Andrew, a lot of people are prayerfully and hopefully praying and asking God to turn their country around. A lot of countries around the world, we're in America when we're filming this, but you could apply this to Ireland. And it's a passage from 2 Chronicles 7.14, I believe. And it is this idea that if my people will humble themselves and they'll turn back to me and then I will heal their land. And what a lot of people say is, if we will just turn back to God and if we'll just humble humble ourselves as a nation and if we'll this and we'll this and we'll this, then God will restore our nation and he'll bless and there'll be revival. And look, we are for revival, we are for salvation, and we are for the gospel. We want God's message to go forth and him to save people. Would that be the right passage to superimpose on the nations of the world that if you would just do this, then this is what God promises for all of us. And then how would we approach that text maybe the right way? Yeah, uh, it, it's not, <laughs> <laughs> it's not the verse, um, but it's an amazing verse. Hmm. It, it's basically a, a statement about um, how God will do what he said he would do um, in the Old Testament. He, he identified the descendants of Abraham, the Israelite people to reveal himself through to be a kingdom of priests to the nations. And and part of that establishment of Israel in the Old Testament was uh, that they were in an actual land. They were they, they were a people of God that were in an actual land with an actual temple that they went to to sacrifice and to worship. And uh, the, 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 you read the book of Joshua, there's lots of parts of the book of Joshua that's all about allotments, who's going to live in this bit and who's going to live in this bit. Uh, like It was a very set up thing. And when God had made promises uh, about what they could expect in that land, he gave promises that if they obey him, he will bless. And if they as a nation disobeyed him, they would be cursed. Mm. And, the, the, and there were blessings and there were cursings depending on the behavior of the, the people. And so part of the blessings that they were told would come if they were an obedient nation mm. with God as head was that the land very literally would be blessed. And what that meant was it would produce fruit. Literally. Yeah. It's a it's not a you know spiritual atmosphere that would result from it was a you know the apple trees will make more apples. You'll grow food and yeah, be able to eat. <laughs> exactly. Which for an ancient people coming out of the wilderness. Oh, yeah. Like that was that was cr- imagine being told if you obey God you'll have food on the dinner table every night like it was it was so important for a nation but it was because they were a nation that God established at that time and and in that season where where God had established a a nation and revealed Himself through He had ways He wanted that nation to behave mm-hmm. and He had promises then attached to that nation in their actual land, in that actual moment, that if they did right, he would bless in this very tangible way. Um, But the verse and the revelations before never said, Israel, if you do this obedience, you will be blessed and any other nation that copies you. Mm. Never said that. It was a, a promise that was given for that nation at that time. So, so when you come to Chronicles and it's recounting that, it, the, the, the writer there is recounting the aspirations of the, uh, the, the, the nation. We have been told if we do what is right, God will actually bless us. So that's where the, the expectation is. So to pull that into America, you know, we are not the people of God as a nation. This is a, a nation of every sort of type of person, Mm. including believers and non-believers. And this land, (laughs) to use it in that kind of sense, the people of this country Mm. need spiritual revival. No doubt. That does not come through (coughs) behavior, but salvation never comes as a result of behavior. Mm. Salvation comes through the proclamation of the word. It's Romans 10. Mm. How are we going to see this nation saved? Well, Not if we can get enough people to behave okay, then God will bless. That's pharisaicalism. That's how the Pharisees work. If we just do enough right things, that would encourage the Messiah to come to our land. 
didn't work that way. It, the word comes and it gives life to people. Mm-hmm. And so if we really want to see transformation come to this, the people of this nation, mm-hmm. well, the hope that we have is in the gospel that we proclaim. Mm-hmm. We give ourselves to that, to sharing and evangelizing and reaching out with the good news by which they may be saved. Mm-hmm. So um, I, I would love people to pray for America and to pray for the movement of God amongst people. But understand, God has told us how that comes about through the proclamation of good news to a lost world.